Hello, hello, hello guys. Light Chuck here and um, this is my first tutorial speaking English. I'm sorry for my bad English. I will try to do my best and you will notice if my English is bad. Well, let's go. Um, in this tutorial I will teach you how to automatically save your render. Modo has not uh, automatically render saving but um, it's possible to do that. So, I will show you how. Well, you have your scene, your complex in scene, you have uh, your sexy free ball with um, this cone here at the background. And uh, of course, this cone is not the VLC icon, sorry for that too, but uh, just for, for testing, of course. When your scene is completed, you need to go here at re render, you will choose this render animation okay it's easy you click here it will bring this this window um, the trick is uh, first frame you set to zero last frame set to zero frame step one okay and of course uh, wait a minute yeah um, you have uh, several passes here like uh, occlusion for instance uh, surface ID here okay oh. let's bring the preview back okay our surface ID ambient occlusion and so on final color blah 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 well you are satisfied with your scene and you want to automatically save it no problem came here render animation zero zero one you have to pay attention for this um, if your image size your rendering size is small there is no problem to save as layered images but when you are rendering closer to these values oh sorry closer to these values or even even bigger like this for instance okay you will have problem saving in layer images it will save a PSD file that will not open your Photoshop you have you will have problem a serious problem so in that case of uh, huge resolutions you need to save it as image sequence it's easy too let's go here okay you have a um, full HD image size you come here lay red click OK just that it will bring your, your window for saving just save it will render your scene if you have uh, several machines in network rendering, they will bring it, it up to, to help the render. It's almost there. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da. Wait a minute. Okay, it's saving now. It's saved. It's here. A nice cool image. You can bring it to the Photoshop. Here is our passes. All of them. It's easy. Let's see the, the other way. Okay. Here. Again. Render animation. Now, you imagine that you are using huge resolutions. Okay. So, change to that. It's it's safer to do as this okay just read okay we'll bring your window a cool name yeah uh, is name and don't know okay click save and wait again it will do the same thing but this time it will save each pass as uh, one jpeg image okay so you can bring it to the photoshop to do your stuff 
later. Well, the advantage of doing that way with this type of workflow is that when you finish your job, you can just um, do a render animation and go sleep. And in the another day, your your renderings will be pretty good in your rendering your rendering folder or desktop or I don't know your X folder maybe okay there is it it's saving save it let's see in Photoshop ah here they are surface ID the render and the ambient occlusion when um, in the uh, model 801 I realized that um, there is a problem with saving the alpha channel when you when you choose the save images in the PSD it save ok here we have the alpha channel but when you choose to save as image files uh, the alpha channel get lost and um, but it's here that's a matter of saving save later so that's it I hope you like forgive my bad English I will try to do my best and uh, I think you understand I hope so <laughs> see ya guys thank you very much